congratulations. Thanks and, very much. Uh, my God, what a performance. You were fantastic. Oh, and I have to ask Thank you, you very much. is there anything you cannot do? Uh, in maths. You know, I'm pretty bad at algebra. That's a starting point for something I definitely need to get better at. Um, I'm not that good at cryptic crosswords either, shamingly, for, for playing a, a man who, who could write them, let alone solve them. Um, there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot. Every day, every day is a sort of, you know, a learning curve and uh, and a realisation of what I still have to achieve. But thank you, I appreciate well, the compliment. how daunting is it to play a man like this who's just so, so brilliant, and mm. then you, you look at what he, he yeah. gave us, but then also just a troubled soul. That's a bit of a good challenge for you, I think. I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, don't think, I don't think he is that much of a troubled soul. I think the trouble came to him. I don't think it's, it's something innate, like, Catholic guilt born into him or whatever you know it's not something everything that he experienced everything that shaped him was environmental was to do with people around him was to do with what the world threw at him rather than what he innately was um, so yeah troubled so I, I sort of take issue with that a little bit he, okay. he you know he, he was somebody who in the film you see as being different whatever that means and being you know nonconformist and you know we're celebrating that of course we are but at the same time the gestation of why he was like that was because in his teenage years as a gay as a burgeoning gay man mm -hmm. he fell in love with someone for the first time it was unrequited and tragically cut short by the boy's death and that that sort of made him shut off and protect himself which Alex plays sublimely in that moment yeah. after the news is given and the camera just tracks in him and goes I don't understand I think you've got the wrong person you know he just he's in denial and that's how that's how he defended himself against what he obviously felt at that stage which seems to me catastrophic for someone's development and so it was only at the time that Joan then thaws him you know yeah. and, and makes him accept part of you know what he's well, what he's part of again yeah. that he, he comes back into focus with that but yeah I, I yeah he troubled and then in a world of intolerance, he's a gay man and he's persecuted, prosecuted for it, tried, convicted, shamed, uh, ridiculed and then punished with a cure yes. uh, through either imprisonment or estrogen injections, which Just he chooses tragic. to carry on working. Yeah, it is. It really, really is. It really is, is yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, was this a hard one to shake after uh, you wrapped? A little bit. That's interesting. Your second person has asked me that. I, yeah, there were moments where I let him or it really get a hold of him and it was it, then you're kind of out of control as an actor I mean there was a moment where in that last scene with Kira mm -hmm. um, I, I, I it, it, what, it was p poorly timed on my part because it wasn't even really my shot it was a sort of wide shot from behind both of us of the chair that I was kind of collapsing into after having the panic attack yeah. and I couldn't stop I couldn't stop sobbing um, and it was because I'd kind of opened up an understanding of what he went through and it was it was purely mourning what he had experienced which when you're playing someone you can't really do you know you, you have to be a little bit more objective about yeah. it uh, subjective even um no i mean objective sorry <laughs> I, I'm it's okay i know it's been a long um, it's been a long yeah. it's been a long life um <laughs> but yeah i um <laughs> it's been a long life no not long enough for us benedict well there's more yeah. hopefully yeah good yeah, yeah, I, more, I would hope so yeah, i would yeah, hope so yeah. because you have a lot of fans here in canada you know that i do yeah i do i remember from last year it was it was really exciting to come here for the first time last year and i can't wait to be back on the red carpet on tuesday as well well we look forward to it I, i'm telling you get that tuxedo ready and picked out because right. we will be seeing you at the oscars and the critics choice awards oh you know that for kind. sure oh, you kind. are fantastic you're so sweet thank you so oh, much that means the world thank you it's always lovely to talk to you too